guys, welcome back for yet another YouTube video. Um, obviously, if you guys haven't seen the last video yet, you probably should go watch that one before this one. Um, for my daily skin daily skincare routine, um, it's also, if you have been here on my channel for a long time, you know that I did my skincare routine at the very beginning of my channel, so it's been some time, so it's definitely an updated skincare routine. So make sure, go check that video out first, and then come back and watch this one. But without further ado, let's get into my everyday makeup look. Okay, so for my makeup routine, I want to say it usually takes me at least 10, maybe 15 minutes for like just a normal everyday look. Obviously, you know, if I'm doing like an actual glam day, can take me about 30 minutes, depending on what eye look I'm going for. But for the first two things, uh, I already use, obviously, that I was saying, make sure you go watch the last video first. But it's going to be the, well actually, three things. It's the Clinique Dramatically Different Moisturizing Lotion. And then I go in with the Maybelline New York Fit Me Matte Poreless. This is the mattifying primer with sunscreen. And this one is SPF 20. And it was only $9.99. So I definitely recommend to go get that. And then this was like $1.99 at Target. It's the Vaseline Cocoa Butter Healing Jelly. And again, I only use this just a little bit, mainly in, I guess it's like a T-zone or whatever, like here, and then my cheek kind of things. A little bit on my chin and just a little bit on my nose. You do have to be careful, though, with using it by your eyes. Um, I honestly forgot what they're called, but basically it's like these little bumps that you start to get around your eyes. If you do start to get those, they do say to stop using the Vaseline. Um, so yeah, definitely make sure that you are cleansing your face, especially if you are using this. That way your pores do not get clogged by this. So after my moisturizer, I do go into my foundation, and I was looking through my little bag that I had took all my makeup with me, um, because, you know, I woke up late and needed to take my makeup with me when I was going to work. But I found both my shades in here. I have 125 Nude Beige and 128 Warm Nude. I'm going to assume the Warm Nude is usually, because I was a little tan not too long ago, especially like with being out for the games. So I'm going to go ahead and go in with 125 Nude Beige, and this is the Maybelline, yeah, Maybelline Matteless Poreless, Matte Poreless, Matteless, Matte Poreless, um, Normal to Oily, yeah, 125. So I basically just go in with my Damp Beauty Blender, and then I basically just kind of start to dab it on my face a little bit just so I can kind of equally disperse all the foundation. That way, if needed, I can go ahead and start, like, going back and applying more, but... Alrighty, after your foundation is applied, I'm going to go in with my Maybelline Fit Me. Literally, everything I use is Maybelline Fit Me. Um, it's the shade 22 Wheat, and that is that. I literally get all of this just from Ulta. I'm pretty sure you can get it from Target, too, but I'll just take a little bit, a few dots here. And then I'll usually put one to two dots here if I don't like kind of put a lot here so that way I can just like kind of drag out. And then do a little heart or two here on my forehead. You can kind of see that. That's like kind of wonky hearts or like heart overlines, whatever. And then just a few little, we're out of focus. What is going on? Okay. And then a little bit of concealer on my chin. Just a little bit. And then whatever is left on my beauty blender, I'll also like re-go over my eyelids just like I did with the foundation. Got some concealer on my nails, but let's go ahead and blend this out. Okay, and then to set everything, I go in with the Maybelline Fit Me Loose Finishing Powder in Share Share in shade 10, which is fair light and I will say I was using like five which was just fair I think and it was too light to me for me um or at least to me it was too light I guess I should say um just because I didn't I don't know if it was too light with just like my skin and I'm already kind of like complected but I guess when I was using like my darker foundations just like from getting tanned it was starting to look too light and I wasn't liking on how the powder was coming out on my face so this one I will definitely say it kind of mattifies your makeup and I guess that's what I like underneath my eyes just so it doesn't like crease as much or especially like on my forehead like where, where I usually get like oily I guess I'm like always smiling so on my smile lines so yeah let's just take a few a few of this a little bit of this 
and then we're just gonna kind of take this up and honestly I don't really let the powder bake on my face anymore as much as I used to I literally just go in and start blending it into my skin or patting it into my skin and I guess that's what kind of gives me that mattified under eye look and just do the other eye and when I am applying the concealer as well as the powder I do start to go up my nose a little bit just on the sides um, I don't contour my nose as much. I'll show you guys as soon as I like start doing the bronzer and everything. Okay, so I had just met my nephew right now, so I took a little break from filming, but back to filming. Oh my gosh, he's so cute, honestly. I'm super excited, super nervous too because... I'm not really used to holding babies, <laughs> but it was super exciting, super cool. But, back to the video. Um, after I went ahead and set my face with the uh, loose finishing powder, I go in with the NARS Laguna, I think it's, yeah, just Laguna, um, I guess like contour, bronzer, I don't know. I just kind of use it as like both, I guess. I guess it looks more like a contour color. And then just my little elf fluffy brush dip some of that in there. Starting to hit pan on this. I literally got this for like my birthday sample thing from Sephora last year. Finally started using it. Use it literally just about every single day that I wear makeup. So um, with this I usually tend to like flatten it like a normal kind of like contour brush and then I will literally just like start to flick up first and then once I kind of really get like that kind of defined line that I want I'll like go in there and kind of like soften it and then just start to go up on my cheeks just so it's kind of like a a bronzer effect I guess and just pat some of that in there do the same thing on this side and then I'll get a little bit more and then go up on my forehead I try to put not too much on my forehead unless I'm trying to really look tanned but just enough to give like a little bit more color to my face and then yeah let me fix the other side and then we'll go on to my nose for my nose I'll either take like whatever is left on there or if I kind of basically used it for my whole face already I'll just dip it a little bit in there and then I will literally just take it to the side of my nose a little bit and then mainly focus it on kind of like doing this little like V here and underneath my nose just so it's kind of like a little lifter to my nose and it's not so like like round I guess here if that kind of like makes sense so I'll just go under that and then just kind of go on the sides here and then I'll go back in with my beauty blender and if the lines start to look too harsh I will just kind of flop here and get that to blend in. Remaining I will just take onto my jawline just to give a little bit more definition and color and then drag it down my neck a little bit just so it's not like this harsh line here. And on my chin a little bit just to define. Lastly no, actually, just kidding, not lastly. We have two more things here. So I will go into my highlight and I just take this little, what is this? It's already like coming off. It's the blending brush. I believe it's, yeah, the Pro Fusion one. Just this little fluffy type of brush. And then we go in with my same highlight that I always use, the Wet n Wild. I think it's, is it strawberry or, honestly... It's like already rubbing off on here. It's been rubbing off, but it's like precious petal, something like that. I don't know, but it's this kind of like rose gold, pink looking color. And then we'll just kind of go into that and just do a couple little circles around on my cheekbone or like cheekbone kind of up. And then I usually try to go up to like about my eyebrow and then but probably a little lower than my eyebrow. And then, of course, can't forget the nose. Nose bridge. I'll go a little bit on, like, kind of temple areas, more above, like, my eyebrow. A little bit in the middle. Chin. Of course, I, you guys, I think I just like looking like a glazed donut, basically, you know? Gotta get some on the chin. And then, of course, on top of my lip. And for that one, I'll usually just kind of, like, brush it down from my nose. And then... Whatever's left, I kind of just go under my brow bone, 
I still don't fill in my brows. I've kind of started debating if I wanted to start filling in my brows. I just don't like the fact that they start to look too dark, so I don't fill them in. Usually, if anything, it's not even this. What is, oh, like my, the Eco Gel. I'll, like, get, like, a spoolie and, like, go over it with, like, Eco Gel, and that's kind of, like, it just to, like, keep them in place. But, yeah, just this, and then I'll put, like, a little bit more, and then just do, like, inner corners a little bit, if I'm not going to do, like, white, a white inner corner. But sometimes I still will. So put a little bit there. And now, lastly, my eyelashes. So, we've got the eyelash curler. And then, I'm probably going to have to switch out my mascara soon. Oh, look. Oh! So I'll use the Eco Gel. This is the one I was talking about for my eyebrows. But for my, here we go. My lashes, just the L'Oreal Telescopic Mascara. I already bought two of them, which I think I showed you guys in one of the last videos, I think. I don't know. <laughs> but basically they had a sale at Ulta. Bought two because I was like, this has literally lasted me about half the year. So I was like, oh, okay, I'll buy two to finish like out the rest of the year and then like I'll have the other one, whatever. And then it also just comes in handy because I'll have one like in my bag or something here at home. Like here at home and then like in my bag, so I like always have one. Or like in my makeup bag at my girls and then like one here, one with me, you know? So just curl them, a few pumps, and then just take this and we'll literally go from base and I kind of like, it has a little curve on the wand if you guys can kind of see that. So I literally just place it right at the base of my lashes and then just kind of, what is this like, um... I don't even know the word, just basically like going back and forth all the way, like working up to the top of the lashes. And then, just do little coats like that. Switch over to the other eye. And honestly, I'll usually do about maybe two coats, if anything, and then curl them at the end. Sometimes they stay, sometimes they don't, but the thing I like about this mascara is that it usually does stay up. Um, and it's not clumpy. This mascara is not clumpy, and I guess that's what I like about it. Um, no matter, I don't want to say no matter how many coats you do, but at least like the two to three coats that I do, it doesn't get all clumpy compared to other mascaras that I've used in the past. And then same thing, bottom lashes, I only do like a little coat on them just because I don't like for it to look super dark. Unless I am putting like false lashes on, but most of the time I don't do that just because I don't care to wear false uh, lashes. Unless I know it's going to be like a busy day, I need to look a little bit more presentable, and my lashes are just not having it. Um, there's like eyelashes like all over this. You know what's going on. And then I'll just take a little makeup wipe and then just go across my brows just to take off any little excess like foundation or powder that had got on my brows. And then, usually, sometimes going with this, sometimes I don't do anything to my brows. But to set everything, I'll go in with the NYX matte finish, um, is it right? Yeah, matte finish, and then for the setting spray, and then just do a few sprays. And then, just to make sure that all does set in, I take my little beauty blender here, and then it also helps me blend out the highlight, especially if I kind of, like, got a lot, like, on my nose, especially on my nose. Um, kind of, like, somewhat my chin, and just pat everything in. And... There we have it, you guys. That's literally my everyday makeup look. Super simple, super easy, and it's literally kind of hard to see. I feel like with the lighting, I have my ring light on, but it's also kind of like really bright outside. We turn it off. I don't know. Anyways, but yeah, this is basically what it looks like. Super easy, super short. Literally only takes me like maybe at most 10 minutes um, to do this makeup look. I know it took probably like a little bit longer just because like the whole talking and everything. But yeah, it's super easy, like, if you're kind of rushing, running late, and you just need to, like, quickly throw something on, this is literally my always go-to every single day makeup look. I say every single day, acting like I do wear makeup every day, but most of the time, like, if I do, if I don't just wear, like, my mascara, then obviously like, this is kind of, like, my full face of makeup. I say full face. It's a full face makeup. What are you doing? Um, but yeah. And then for my lips, too, um, I just have my chapstick in that I carry with me. Most of the time I will like wipe off my lips like if there's any like extra foundation stuff like that but yeah what do you guys think I hope this like helps hopefully you try it out if you do try it out ooh, especially the products let me know if you guys do try out this Maybelline Fit Me like the 
sunscreen moisturizer mm, you won't be disappointed works super good and the telescopic mascara this has literally been my favorite mascara olivia the other youtuber she put me on this and when i saw her lashes i was like oh my gosh definitely had to try it sure enough went to target flew out of my hand literally went to target found it and haven't used another mascara since but that's all I have for today's video, you guys. I hope you liked it. As always, make sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Stay safe and stay tuned for the next video. Peace.